as you can see, was stripped out now completely. Um, the reason we did that was because the existing material was 60s plasterboard. The walls were plastered with a thick cement, which doesn't breathe. And that then causes issues with properties like this that are a solid wall construction. They can't release the moisture because it's trapped behind those modern materials. So that's the reason why we've gone through and literally gutted this place because it was the past decades it's had the wrong things applied to it. If we'd have entered the property and found that it was there was still lime plastering areas or lath ceilings, we would have looked to restore those and, and patch rather than rip out. So with the building fully stripped out, all the plasters off, ceilings out, uh, it's become evident what was causing a lot of the problem. The slates the, with the torch are missing and now uh, the weather's turned and we're getting quite a lot of leaking in. So the next stage will be to temporary patch those, look at the next month to get the scaffolding up uh, and start fixing the roof. So now down in the ground floor, we've started to excavate and dig out the existing floor. It proved to be quite difficult. The uh, thickness of the concrete for the first layer was up to seven inches thick. Uh, we did this by uh, pneumatic drilling and trying to chip out the concrete. Under that we found subsoil and then a subsequent floor under that. Um, so there's quite a lot to do. We're almost there, we've just got to level out now down to our desired depth, around about 350 millimetres. That'll then allow us to start placing back in our Lime Creek floor system and I'll talk about that once we start. Another uh, issue that we've tried to resolve is the fact that the circuit board is in where the flood zone will be. I'm actually stood now where the floor's dug out. It will be raised back up and with that, the last flood level was around about this height in the building. So we really need to move that. Um, it's been lots of emails, uh, phone calls, and we finally got round to a, a price plan that they'll be able to come in. We just need to agree and, and move this higher so in case of a flood, um, there's no electrics within that zone. The only other issue that comes with that is that they mentioned that the substation that's just across the road is in that flood zone. But